Good morning, distinguished visitors, faculty and staff, family and friends of the 2020 graduating class, and of course, welcome graduates. I'm Patrice Caldwell, Interim President of Eastern New Mexico University. Welcome to the 2020 Spring Commencement Exercises, the 138th graduation for the students and faculty of Eastern New Mexico University and our first virtual ceremony. The national anthem and the alma mater will now be sung by NMU students, including some of our graduating seniors, directed by Dr. Stephanie Beinlich. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose first stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched with so gallantly Thank you, Dr. Beinlich and students. Although commencement is a joyous occasion, much has occurred during these past months that has touched us all. Please join me in a moment of silent contemplation and prayer for the victims of coronavirus and for the first responders, healthcare professionals, and others working so hard to keep our communities safe. Thank you. Graduates, I know this is not the ceremony that you or any of us expected. We'd like nothing better than to be in Greyhound Arena with all of you in your regalia, the stands filled with your family and friends cheering for you. Your diploma is no less valuable and significant because of these circumstances and the absence of a huge audience. In fact, it might be more valuable. Over the past three months of this pandemic, you have demonstrated extraordinary determination and commitment by attending your classes, completing your coursework, and accomplishing your goal. You will need that grit and determination in the days and months ahead, but I have every confidence in you and in what you are now ready to accomplish. Please know that if you are, you are welcome to return to campus and walk in the December commencement exercise, we would love to have you. In our unconventional commencement, we still have some very traditional elements, and one is the university mace, carried by Dr. Kristen Coleman, faculty senate president. The mace has its historic roots in the Roman Empire. An academic mace symbolizes the authority vested in the president by a university's governing body. ENMU's mace was carved from black walnut and is topped with the university's seal. It was designed and crafted by Mr. Greg Sen, Professor of Art, and is carried at each graduation ceremony. 
Another tradition at our graduation ceremony is to recognize the contribution of people very important to our graduates, the dedicated men and women who teach and mentor our graduates. At Eastern, we are extremely proud of our faculty and their commitment to the excellence of your educational experience. I know they wish they could be with you today. Traditionally, at spring commencement, we also recognize the faculty who are retiring. These educators have dedicated most of their careers to educating ENMU students. This year, we honor five retirees. Dr. Daniel Atchison Brown, Professor of Political Science, contributed a wealth of experience and international perspective to his program, having lived in Kenya, traveled in Eastern and Southern Africa, Europe, and the Middle East and who held a Fulbright professorship in South Africa in 2003. During his 26 years at ENMU, he served on faculty senate, twice as chair of the department, and on several university-wide committees. Mr. Patrick McCreary, assistant professor of theater and digital filmmaking, for five years contributed significantly to ENMU productions, including Sherwood, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Shakespeare's The Tempest, and the role of Abraham Lincoln in Lincoln and Booth. Dr. John Olson, professor of piano, concludes a 31-year commitment to ENMU's music students, recipient of the Outstanding Service Award and the President's Award for Excellence in Teaching. Dr. Olson served as department chair and interim dean of the College of Fine Arts twice, in addition to delivering excellent teaching and undergraduate and graduate students in his program. Dr. Elizabeth Self, professor of psychology, was a mainstay of her department from 1994 until this May. Serving as graduate coordinator and as a mentor for new faculty, she regularly served on her department's faculty evaluation committee and chaired the scholarship committee. Dr. Wally Thompson joined the education department in 2016 as assistant professor of reading, serving on faculty senate and the scholarship awards committee and delivering virtuoso performances of his own, providing stellar teaching to his students. We thank these faculty for their combined 92 years of service. Graduates, today you have accomplished something of true significance, but you didn't do it alone. You had a lot of support along the way. We gratefully acknowledge the contributions of spouses, children, parents, and grandparents of our graduates, uncles, aunts, cousins, and friends who helped you, supported you, and celebrate with you. If we were in Greyhound Arena asking all these groups to stand to be recognized, the entire arena would now be on their feet. Remember to thank them today for that support. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium the speakers for the 2020 commencement ceremony. Ms. Addie Adame, student body president, who graduates today with her master's degree, and Mr. Joseph Gergel, graduating senior and student member of the Board of Regents of Eastern New Mexico University. Thank you, Dr. Carlo. Bienvenidos a todos desde su casa. Hola, clase de 2020. Para aquellos que no me conocen, mi nombre es Adilani Adame. Soy la presidenta del cuerpo de estudiantes de este año y es un honor poder estar aquí y ser parte de la ceremonia, ceremonia virtual de inicio de primavera de 2020. Gracias a todos los que pudieron unirse a nosotros virtualmente. Sé que muchos habíamos planeado tener familia aquí para vernos caminar por el escenario. Desafortunadamente, no podemos estar juntos para celebrar. Sin embargo, espero que todos estén celebrando este momento memorable con su familia y amigos. Si alguien me hubiera dicho que hubiera recibido mis títulos de licenciatura y maestría en siete años, no lo habría creído. Estoy segura de que lo mismo ha sido para muchos de ustedes, ya sea que estén recibiendo su licenciatura o maestría. Los aplaudo a todos. Lo hicimos. Felicidades. Padres, probablemente estén pensando a dónde han pasado los años. Sé que mi mamá lo hace. Ella comenta sobre qué rápido pasa el tiempo cada oportunidad que tiene. Al mirar todo lo que sus hijos e hijas han logrado, puede que estén pensando en aquel día cuando llegaron a dejarlos o se fueron para su primer día de universidad. A lo largo de los años, les han dado el apoyo que necesitaban y les han ayudado a aprender y desafiarse a sí mismos. Y por eso, 
se merecen un aplauso. Ahora, después de estos años, están aquí porque sus hijos e hijas han dominado las habilidades académicas necesarias para graduarse y salir al mundo. Mientras tanto, graduantes, ustedes están pensando en los días que tuvieron que forzarse a levantarse de la cama después de una noche tarde para ir a la escuela o cuando se sentían demasiado cansados para terminar su tarea. Pero mírense ahora, lo hicieron. Si ustedes están ansiosos por lo que está por venir, estén seguros de saber que todos están listos. Su fundación de educación es fuerte y también que siempre serás parte de la familia Greyhound. Todos aquí creemos en tu potencia para hacer una diferencia positiva en este mundo y por eso queremos que creas lo mismo. También me gustaría a todos todos ustedes que vayan con confianza, sabiendo que todos tienen los recursos y habilidades para lograr cualquier objetivo que se hagan fijado para sí mismos. En este momento, me gustaría darle gracias a varios miembros importantes de mi vida que me han alentado o apoyado a través de este increíble viaje. Esta persona me enseñó el valor de la educación y me dio los bloques de construcción necesarios para convertirme en una mujer exitosa. Ella me animó en todos mis esfuerzos, me brindó apoyo emocional y habló muy bien de mí a cualquiera que escuchara. Mamá, gracias por todo su trabajo, apoyo y amor a lo largo de estos años difíciles y emocionantes. A mis amigos, con quien he pasado horas planeando eventos en el nombre del gobierno estudiantil, estudiando para pruebas juntos y haciendo recuerdos que durarán toda una vida. Esas pocas personas saben quién son. Gracias y no podría haberlo hecho sin ustedes. También me gustaría agradecer a esta universidad por su conjunto darme la oportunidad de desarrollar mi educación y proporcionarme un ambiente de aprendizaje seguro, personal dedicado y ambiente alentador. Me gustaría dejarle a to dejarlos a todos con lo siguiente. Mi deseo para ti es que esta vida se convierta en todo lo que quieres. Tus sueños se mantengan grandes, tus preocupaciones se mantengan pequeñas y que nunca Necesites llevar más de lo que puedes sostener. Una vez más, felicidades a la clase de 2020. Salgan y hagan grandes cosas. Gracias. Now, I would like to introduce to you our student regent, Joseph Gurgel. Thank you, President Adame and Chancellor Caldwell. I am absolutely gracious and humbled to be a speaker today at the 2020 ENMU Virtual Graduation Commencement Ceremony, an unprecedented event for Eastern under difficult circumstances for everyone. And thank you, Eastern Mexico University, for these past four years of stellar education, memorable experiences, and bountiful opportunities. There's no place I would have rather received an education than here with our wonderful leaders. I would like for you to all to imagine a cave with a long entrance open to the light of the sun. Now imagine that in this cave, there are prisoners chained up who have been there since they were children, and they are fastened in such a way that they can only look in one direction at a wall. Now behind these prisoners and above them is a burning fire, casting light on their backs and the wall they are facing. Then between the prisoners and the burning fire are puppeteers who cast shadows on the wall of figures they have. Of course, These shadows are all that the prisoners see, and since they have been there since children, the shadows from the puppeteers are all that they know, their perceived reality. So, if they see a shadow of a dog in a tree, then they believe that to be an actual dog in a tree, not merely a shadow from a puppet. That's an unfortunate way of living, believing what you're seeing is real, when in fact it's not. But what if one of the prisoners were let loose somehow, and was compelled to look at the light from the fire? Well. It would be difficult to adjust his eyes and properly see the shadows he once used to perfectly see. And after gradually adjusting to the light from the fire, suddenly he will become knowledgeable of the actual truth and reality of objects in the cave and their source. Then, if he leaves the cave and becomes adjusted to that ultimate source of light, the sun, the freed prisoner will truly know the source of all that we see. And it's not puppeteers casting shadows and controlling what we see, at least we hope. In effect, The shadows that the now freed prisoner thought of as reality and truth, he will no longer recognize. Additionally, he might even try to convince the chained prisoners that the shadows they are seeing is in fact not the real thing. Well, 
Since they have not been exposed to the light and the truth of the things, they will most likely dismiss him as crazy and blind. Of course, we know the opposite to be true. Well, what is the responsibility of the enlightened and freed prisoner who now knows the truth and reality of things? Does he leave the cave forever and dismiss the chained prisoner as lost causes? Or does he go back into the cave and try to educate the others with the actual truth of reality? That is a difficult question and one that has been pondered by philosophers, politicians, and others for quite literally thousands of years. What is our responsibility to our fellow citizen? The story I told was written around 375 BC by Plato in his work, The Republic. In detailing what the freed and enlightened prisoner must do when he leaves the cave, he states the most important part of the whole allegory. The freed prisoner after leaving the cave and being enlightened does not continue on his journey outside the cave. No, he must descend back into the cave and live with the prisoners again and get used to seeing the shadows. Once he gets used to seeing the shadows again, he will see a thousand times better than they do because he will know the actual things that the shadows are representing and he should educate those around him. In other words, be a leader. To extrapolate this immortal allegory to all of us graduating today, before Eastern New Mexico University, we were all prisoners chained without the knowledge we now hold today. But due to our education with Eastern New Mexico University, we are now freed and enlightened and no longer rely on the shadows to show us a false reality. We have been lucky to receive an education from an institution who does not act like the puppeteers in Plato's allegory, throwing single false perceptions of reality at us, but rather, an institution who acts as the light in Plato's allegory, the source of our knowledge and freedom from ignorance. Thanks to the light of Eastern New Mexico University and the education and experiences given to us, we now have the tools to decipher and reason what the reality and the truth of the world around us really is. So, just as the freed prisoner had to go back into the cave and utilize his newfound knowledge, so too must we all heed this call to utilize our combined education and experiences from Eastern and share it with others to aid the common good of our society. In other words, be a leader and wherever you go next, leave it better than you found it. Thank you. And I'd like to welcome back Dr. Caldwell. Thank you, Joseph and Addie, for your comments and for your service to Eastern New Mexico University students and the university this past year and throughout your ENMU careers. To begin the presentation of graduates, please welcome to the podium the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jamie Lorenz. It is my pleasure to introduce the deans of the colleges who will introduce the candidates for their degrees. Dr. John Montgomery, Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Mary Ayala, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Dr. Jeff Gentry, Dean of the College of Fine Arts. Dr. Penny Garcia, Dean of the College of Education and Technology. Dr. Herbert Snyder, Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Montgomery. Thank you, Dr. Lorenz. Dr. Caldwell, it is my privilege and genuine pleasure to present the following candidates for their respective degrees. Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, Master of Special Education. Dr. Caldwell, these candidates whose names appear on the official commencement program and who have satisfied all degree requirements have been approved for graduation. I recommend that the degrees be conferred as listed. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Dean of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Dr. Mary Ayala. Dr. Ayala. Thank you, Dr. Montgomery. Dr. Caldwell, it is my privilege and genuine pleasure to present the following candidates for their respective degrees. Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, 
Bachelor of Social Work. Dr. Caldwell, these candidates whose names appear on the official commencement program and who have satisfied all degree requirements have been approved for graduation. I recommend that the degrees be conferred as listed. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jeff Gentry, Dean of the College of Fine Arts. Dr. Gentry? Thank you, Dr. Ayala. Dr. Caldwell, it is my privilege and genuine pleasure to present the following candidates for their respective degrees. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Music Education, Bachelor of Science. Dr. Caldwell, these candidates whose names appear in the official commencement program and who have satisfied all degree requirements have been approved for graduation. I recommend that the degrees be conferred as listed. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Penny Garcia, Dean of the College of Education and Technology. Thank you, Dr. Gentry. Dr. Caldwell, it's my privilege and genuine pleasure to present the following candidates for their respective degrees. Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts in Education, Bachelor of Career and Technical Education, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Education, Bachelor of University Studies. Dr. Caldwell, these candidates whose names appear on the official commencement program and who have satisfied all degree requirements have been approved for graduation. I recommend that the degrees be conferred as listed. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Herbert Schneider, Dean of the College of Business. Thank you, Dr. Garcia. Dr. Caldwell, it is my privilege and genuine pleasure to present the following candidates for their respective degrees. Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science. Dr. Caldwell, these candidates whose names appear in the official commencement program and who have satisfied all degree requirements have been approved for graduation. I recommend that the degrees be conferred as listed. Thank you, deans and Dr. Lorenz. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Eastern New Mexico University, and upon the recommendation of the faculty and administration of the colleges, I hereby confer upon each student the degree for which he or she has completed the requirements with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Graduate students, traditionally this ceremony would include a hooding ceremony. This ceremony symbolizes the passing of the guard from the generation of scholars to the next. It dates to medieval times when the hood distinguished the recipients as belonging to the teaching guild of the Master of Arts. While we cannot hood each of our graduates, we wish to hood Miss Adame for her own degree and to represent all of our graduate students. The hooding is being performed by Vice President Lorenz and Dr. Montgomery, Dean of the Graduate School. Congratulations, Addie. Undergraduates, much as we'd like to, we cannot present each of you personally with your diploma. We now present Regent Joseph Gergel with his, also representing all NMU students graduating this spring. Congratulations, Joseph. In closing, I'd like to thank the Office of the Registrar, KENW production and post-production staff members, and members of the physical plant, the Office of Communication Services, and everyone who made today possible. Thanks to all the students who contributed photos for the slideshow that will conclude this program, and I thank you all for participating in person or virtually in this spring 2020 commencement exercises. Finally, graduates, let me ask you to stand, no matter where you are, 
please make sure that all bachelor's degree recipients have your tassels on the right side of your real or imagined mortarboard. Ready? Now move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, graduates. I'd now like to introduce Ms. Anna Maria Short, ENMU alumna and Director of Alumni Affairs, to welcome our new graduates to our Alumni Association. As a graduate of ENMU, you are now a member of the Alumni Association. We are so proud to welcome you and look forward to seeing your success continue. Please be sure to stay connected as we want to make sure you receive the Green and Silver Magazine as well as invites to exclusive alumni events. Please be sure to update your contact information at enmu.edu slash info update. We look forward to connecting with you in the future and congratulations on your graduation. Thank you, Anna Maria. Students, we're very proud to count you among our alumni. Stay strong, stay connected to each other and to your alma mater. We will always be here for you. This concludes the 2020 Spring Commencement Exercises for Eastern New Mexico University. I now present our pride and glory, our 2020 Spring graduates. <laughs> Thank you.